It's a bright day out here in Chinatown, a locality in Kolkata that brings a culture full of Chinese. It's a crisp story where they make their livelihood out of few items. It may be tanning, presenting lovely foods. The culture comprises temples, deities, or maybe a fusion of Chinese Hinduism, or maybe bringing out the festive mood along with the hardship. So, what does it all about? A Chinese businessman settled down in Achipur in Bajbaj to set up a sugar mill. He opened sugar mill with some Chinese laborers. However, later other Chinese immigrants entered the row, made the workers feel greedy about better employments in Kolkata. Later, the workers left the mill and moved to Tireta Bazaar in Kolkata. A section of shoemakers moved to Tangra, let the tanneries are still operational in Tangra. Processing of leathers, making items out of that are still in practice. Leathers work day and night to shape leather into variations. The hawkers, they took up shoemaking. In the first decade of 19th century, the, some Hakka families were only engaged in shoemaking. They decided to concentrate on Tanning and they migrated to Tangra, located in the eastern periphery of Calcutta. So around 1840s, 1850s, we find the development of a vibrant Chinatown in the Tiriti Bazaar locality and in and in some pockets in central Calcutta. So that's how the Chinatown developed in Calcutta. Beside this, restaurant business is a common view in Tangra. Monica Liu, a business entrepreneur, tells how she entered the business. I'm not very fond of cooking, but before that I don't know I don't know how to cook. But then because for my living I have to earn for my family. That is why I have started this business which I can handle hand, single hand with myself only. Because see cooking is like a, every a woman should know. Then uh, this is uh, God, God have given us that women know how to cook. The hanging lanterns are very common in this area. The whole market offers vegetables, pork and other necessary items. The theatre market, on the other hand, 
offers ready-made foods for them. Few Chinese people exist in old colonies and chowls. This market opens at 5 in the morning and continues for next 5 hours. The colonies are getting shut down day by day. Shiksiye Temple is the famous Buddhist temple in Tanga. The inscriptions will take a journey to Chinese traditional monasteries. Chinese never forgot the culture where they are now. The Chinese Skull Temple offers a flavor of a combined culture of both Chinese and Hindu. John Chang, the third generation, devotes himself as the priest of this temple. My name is Chen. I came every morning, the evening, two times. I clean it up and doing this. The commentary do it the Chinese. So they put us the thing. He cleans the temple, lit the candles, and follows every rituals of the Hindus. A mesmerizing and fusion of both the religion sound the reflects in Tangra. <laughs> Every year, the Dragon Boat Festival is performed by the Indian Chinese Association. A chanting is done at the very onset of the program. The colorful boats from China splash their way with different teams to score high. Cultural programs performed by Chinese makes the center line of this program, where the lion dance dramatically jumps in the mind of the audience. People from 8 to 80 take part in the show. Mouth-watering delicacies from Tireta and Tangra hit the floor. also are the major parts of this show. Program binds no boundaries, even Bollywood songs are sung by the Chinese and even the dance too. Come to witness this festival from all around the world. I've been born and brought up here, but 
I right now I'm in Singapore, so I've gone to Singapore for studies. And the food and the programs have always been there. Uh, like there are a lot of um, events and shows, you know, like Chinese people that perform and food. You can see India is really Kolkata is in fact really famous for the Chinese food. So. Like you see everywhere, you have Chinese restaurants here and there. So I wouldn't say Chinese food really, but but the Dragon Boat is really a new thing that they start up because, like you see, this is just the second year. The first year it was really, the first year it was really, um, it made everyone you know catch them by surprise that this is a new event. So people they know more about this, and like you see, the second year. We have to keep in mind another point that the Chinese came here in search of better job opportunities. When they found that the life is not so easy in Calcutta and there are many much more economic opportunities in developed countries, in Europe, in Canada, in the UK, in Australia, so decided to migrate to those countries. And as a result, we find gradual decline in Chinese population. The Bay May School is in degrading condition. Students are moving from this town and migrating to other countries. And hopefully the school will fully close down in the next few years. This instructor also thinks that this community could have given some messages to the society for the development of Indian Chinese, but they simply don't want to get into politics. And of course, I also really want to involve in politics. Like, you know, I also want to say something, but then I thought that no, I am not the person to involve in this because I'm doing business. What is the future of Chinatown in Chinatowns in Calcutta? Now the character of Chinatowns have changed. Now it's very difficult to recognize the place of the Chinatown because so many Chinese have left. Other people, people belonging to other communities have purchased their properties and they have built their own establishments. Kolkata once had over 20,000 Chinese population, but due to several societal and economical problems, the figure lasts around 2000 now. We must think of promoting the Chinatowns and tourist spots. In many western cities, Chinatowns are promoted as tourist spots. The town is losing its assets and people day by day. There's no surety what will happen after few generations. The keys are still not found of these poor situations. People hope for assistance, but all lacks. Chinese newspapers are even in dilemma. The bright sun of Chinatown is yet to set. People awake with hopes in dawn, but it get rained at dusk. <laughs>